Hi, this is Lisa and we're going to do a little tutorial here on how to use the Design Center to insert blocks. Okay, uh, first of all, the first thing you do is you go to the insert menu that is up here on the top row. Then you double click on the Design Center icon. And that opens this. Now, I've already got this so that it is in, up, and visible. But what you probably have is, have is something that looks like this because it's the first time that you've opened it up. Okay, so what you're going to do, I don't know why AutoCAD can't make this easy for us and just have it go straight to the Design Center uh, blocks to start with, but it can. So we're going to go to the sample in US Design Center. And here are a variety of drawings that have blocks in them that we can use. And, and I think for right now, we'll just choose the house designer. And we'll look at the blocks in the house designer. Okay, so in our drawing, you're supposed to be creating the bathtub block. So we're not going to use the bathtub block. You're supposed to be creating your own doors. So we're not going to use those. You could insert a faucet. That would be fun. And you could insert a sink. So let's start with a sink. You're supposed to be making your own toilet, by the way. So we're going to choose a sink. We're going to double click our sink. And what that does is it opens up the insert box. Okay, and it says sink oval top and we click OK. Okay, so now, got okay, to get this thing out of the way. Now then you notice our sink is yellow and that's because the layer that is active is yellow. It will always insert your blocks on whatever layer is active. Okay, so now we need to find a place to put our sink. And I haven't started drawing the bathroom yet, so you're just going to have to bear with me. We're going to take our sink and we're going to put it here because that's in the bathroom. Okay, now then, it's inserted. Now we can change it to the layer that belongs on, even though it would have been much more efficient to have that layer active. Seems we all make this mistake. Uh, I need to make a new layer. Hmm. Okay. So I need to open up the layer manager and make the right layer. which is obviously going to take a couple minutes. Okay, so I'm going to make a new layer. It is going to be called uh, A Plum Fixed LAS. Keep in mind, folks, that these are based upon my office layers, not on what you're supposed to use. And once I'm done creating that layer, I'm going to double click it so it's current and I'm going to grab the make a change object to current layer once I find it or maybe what I'm going to do is just click on it and change it to the current layer okay and then I'm going to move this over here okay then I'm going to rotate this. Ninety degrees. Okay. So that's starting using the design center. Okay, so what if you think that all of the blocks that are available to you in the design center are ugly? It happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay, so what you're going to do in that case is you're going to move the design center out of the way. You could go back here to the insert thing. You're going to go to AutoCAD Seek, which goes out and looks on the internet for blocks. And we're going to look for a block for a. Well, you're supposed to make up your own toilet. Hmm. I'll tell you what we'll look for. We'll look for a block for a Viking stove. No, that Viking doesn't have any blocks for stoves. Well, let's look for a block for a stove. What do you say? 
Okay, so that opens up this screen in your web browser. Okay, there you go. So, we are looking for DWG files. We are looking for AutoCAD architecture files. That's hoods, that's a double oven. These are all 3D, I'm not interested in that. Let's get rid of that. Let's look in the generic library file and see what that gets us. That doesn't get us anything either. So you kind of have to shop around in here until you find what you need. And you do that just by looking through them. Cooker, cooker, range, oven. I'm not liking that. Let's try searching for range and see what that gets us. We do want to go ahead and select by DWG because that's what we want. Yeah, okay, that's not what we want. These are 3D. We don't really want one of those. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, let's look at these drawings and see what they look like. Oh, well, that's got, that's the three-dimensional one. We don't really want that. Okay. Okay, so I'm not finding anything for a range. Let's look for a dishwasher. I'm going to show you where to look for a range here soon. Okay, so here... It's just a standard block for a dishwasher. That's usually all we draw. So you download select to loco, local. You accept. And it downloads it. Okay. Now, where that has sa saved that is into my downloads folder. Ha, with all of your drones. So what I really want to do is I want to put that in a different folder. Um, and I actually have a block. I actually have a whole folder full of blocks. Okay? So if I go here, whoops, you know, I can basically cut this and I can go put it in my blocks folder. You're going to collect a lot of blocks over, over the course of your career. So I suggest you just go ahead and make a blocks folder. Okay? And I'm going to change the name of this so that I know what it is. It's a dishwasher. Okay? So that's, that's one part. The other, well, that's one thing we can look for. So let's go back to our stove. We didn't find anything in our stove. We didn't find anything that looked good for our stove. There are a lot of blocks that are kind of in the just regular library for AutoCAD architecture that you can use and you just download these and put them in your folder. Okay? And that works out pretty well. Sinks, lavatories, let's look here, kitchen casework, appliances, filing cabinets, fluorescent lights, residential furniture, plumbing furniture, cookers, ovens, and stoves. And these are all 3D. See, there's an oven. That's a standard oven block. Well, that could be pretty useful, couldn't it? Let's look at this. What's it got here? Okay, so we want imperial. Metric will not do us th the right thing. Okay, so that, go that went into the downloads file again, and we're going to have to move it. Hmm. So you can see there's a lot of stuff that's already created out there for you to use. But we still haven't found a good stove, have we? Okay. If you can't find a good stove block from AutoCAD, you can go out and say GE range AutoCAD block in Google and you will find that you can, there are places you can download blocks. Sweets.com is actually a pretty cool resource for this sort of thing. 
I'm not going to find anything there, I guess. RCAT, here we go. RCAT also has a good CAD library. So you can go here, you can say specialties, um, looking for appliances, lots and lots of different stuff here, like manufactured fireplaces. Ooh, that could be fun, couldn't it? We could put those in our fireplace. Protective locker partitions, hand dryers. Well, okay, I'm not finding what I need there. At any rate, uh, Sweet and RCAT have good, solid um, collections of things that you can use, and I really, really do suggest using them. Okay. So you may wind up dry, drawing your stove. Anyway, let's get out of that. Let's go back to where we were. And I have four minutes to wrap this up. Okay, so to get the blocks I just downloaded, all I have to do is I have to remember where they were. And in my case, they're in the file for my business, which is in my Dropbox. Users, Lisa, Dropbox. So wherever they are, you have to go find them. Blocks. Okay. And here is my dishwasher right there. So I can literally just grab that block. And use it. Double click, dishwasher, there we go. Okay. Um, and if I look at other things I've got, the nice thing about the way this design center works is that any drawing you have that you've already drawn that has a block in it you want, you just go look at that drawing. Um, for example, let's see here. I'm working on a project right now. Here, let's grab this one. This one has urinals in it. So if, if I know, know that I like those urinals, I can go get them. There it is. Isn't that a cute urinal? I thought so. Actually, that's a big, uh, a big trend in residential architecture right now is that a lot of houses, especially houses that have a lot of boys that share a bathroom, are putting in urinals. I just did one that does. So. That is how the Design Center works. I hope that helps. Bye.